Hi, it's Ms. Barnhart. Let's continue our discussion of plants with a look at their basic structure. Like all living things, plants are made of cells. You may remember from previous studies that plant cells differ from animal cells because they contain cell walls, large vacuoles, and possibly chloroplast. However, not all plant cells are identical. Plant cells having the same basic structure and function are grouped together as a tissue. There are three basic tissue types in plants, dermal, ground, and vascular tissue. Dermal tissue covers the outside of all plant parts. The function is to protect the plant and to help prevent water loss. In this diagram, the epidermis of the plant can be seen in red. Old roots have dermal tissue called periderm. Ground tissue is the most generalized plant tissue. It has many functions, such as photosynthesis, food storage, regeneration, support, and protection. There are three types of ground tissue, parenchyma, which is used for photosynthesis, food storage, healing, and tissue generation, calenchyma, which is used for flexible support and growing roots, stems, and petioles, and sclerenchyma, which is used for rigid support through its secondary cell walls. You can see the ground tissue on the plan diagram here, shaded in yellow. Vascular tissue has the function of transporting water, transporting dissolved minerals, and transporting food throughout the veins in the plant. It is seen in purple on the plan diagram here. Xylem carries water and phloem carries food. Xylem cells are dead at functional maturity and phloem cells are living but do not have a nucleus. The three plant tissues work together to form the three vegetative organs of the plant. These are the leaves, the stems, and the roots. The main function of a leaf is photosynthesis. The stem transports materials throughout the plant and gives it support. And the roots anchor the plant in the ground and allow it to absorb water. You can see the three tissues organized in the organ on plant diagrams. Red is dermal tissue, yellow is ground tissue, and purple is the vascular tissue. These are diagrams for a dicot. Monocots have a different arrangement of tissues in their vegetative organs. Finally, plant organs are arranged into organ systems. The leaves and stem are above the ground and make up the shoot system. The roots are below the ground and make up the root system. We will talk more about how these systems work as we continue on in the lesson.